What's up, YouTube? It is your Lord and Savior, King D353 here, and I've decided to, um, let's play this game, um, Dreaming Mary. It's a, um, horror game, and, um, I found it and was interested in it, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and, um, just let's play this because why not? I was originally considering waiting until it was like Halloween, but then I decided, fuck it, I'm interested, so let's do it. The Mary of Tree series. Mary. Always remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. You can change your life for your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality, and the entire world will open up for you. But Mary, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams... You won't ever wake up, so I'll die. Good to know. Alright, controls. E to confirm, X to cancel, arrow keys to move. S saves, and A returns to title screen. Alright, um, if you guys couldn't hear that, I will upload a separate video with all the radio recordings. I'm not going to change my volume, because the volume set to the perfect amount so that you can hear me over everything, and so that my eardrums aren't blown out of their sockets. Before I actually continue, I should probably let you guys know right now that I actually do have some knowledge of this game. This is not completely blind. I do not know everything about this game. I do not know how to beat the entire thing. I know how to get one of the four endings. I know there are four endings, and I know some of the lore to this game because I've watched two parts of it. Some of the lore I figured out from watching the parts, and some of it I pieced together myself. So this first episode, I'm basically just going to be running from emotions because I basically know what to do the first time through. The second time through, I'll know half of the way, and then from then on, I'm going to be having to figure it out on my own. Also, these parts might end up being longer or shorter. Like this first one, this first one's going to be shorter since I know everything to do. But I decide, and when it comes to this, I'm not going to separate it by normal parts. Every part is going to be an ending. So this part one is going to be ending one, part two ending two, which I know halfway through. And then part three and part four will be very long because I won't know what I'm doing. Alright then, so now that said... Oh, and there'll be a part radio. Because I can actually talk to this radio, but I'm not going to because I don't know if you guys can hear it. When I rewatch this video, I'll find out if you guys can hear it. Anyway, hi bed. There's a big fluffy bed. So sweet. Huh, that's weird. Aren't I supposed to be able to lead? Oh, wait. May have to activate the door first. The door is locked. Now I talk to the bed. 
There is a chocolate on the bed that you apparently could not see unless you knew the door was locked. Eat it. Hell yeah, strange chocolate. Ow, something hard inside. Got the gold leaf key. Wait, where, where the fuck's the music? Maybe it starts until I leave the room. Use the key on the door? Hell yeah. You unlock the door. Hmm. Interesting. There's a door. Apparently I can't go for that door. Let's go through this door. There's a large white door. You can hear someone humming in the room behind it. Let's find out who that someone is. Bunny! And a cute bunny, too. Oh my, hello there, Mary. Hmm, how do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? No, I do not. Aw, that's... Oh, wait, I was saying no to... I... Okay, whatever. Aw, what a sweet girl. Of course you won't forget me. There's only one Benilda in your dreams, after all. Since it's been such a long time, why don't you go visit the others? I'm sure Pen Gwindel next door would love to see how much you've grown. Sure, I've grown. Oh wait, I forgot something. I forgot my health. <laughs> you have to pick up your health in this game. There's a vase of a pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. Take the flower? Yes. Got the white lily. So now I actually have a health bar. I would tell you what that health bar actually represents, but you guys gotta figure it out yourself. Actually, you're gonna figure it out on the radio episode. I'm gonna stare at yourself for a bit. I actually wanna stare at Mary's outfit, so let's see. This is a plain pink dress, has polka dots. And I think it has a. Yeah, that's a collar. Okay then. Huh. When I was actually watching a le the first two episodes of that Let's Play of this, I actually missaw her outfit. There's a large blue door. You can hear someone reading aloud. The way she walks is interesting. Mary? Is that you? My, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we've last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You ought to go say hello to Foxanne when you're done. She'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go toddle along now. <gasps> I'll read all the books just so that you guys can know what's in them. There's a yellow book with a stuffed rabbit on the cover. The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. There's a brown book with a boy playing with monsters on the cover. Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. I actually did not know it was originally a book. There's a white book with a girl in blue dress on the cover. Alice in Wonderwell. Wonderwell? <laughs> Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Can I look at the shelf behind you? No, I can't. There is a blue book of a girl and a pig on the cover. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. There's a green book of a tree and a boy in the cover. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. I love that book. There's a white book of talking animals on the cover. Aesop's Fables. Alright guys, it's time for story time with King D. Sleeping Beauty. Why am I on page three? Finally, she came to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. 
Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it, and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where the old woman sat spindling flax. Sleeping Beauty, page 4. What are you doing there? said the princess. I am spinning, my child, said the old woman. This is very pretty. How do you do it? Give it to me. Let me see if I can do so. She picked up the spindle, but no sooner did she touch it than she pricked herself with it and then fell down into a deep sleep. Sleeping Beauty, page 5. After a time, it happened by chance that a king was out hunting and passed that way. When the king beheld something who seemed to be enchanted, he believed that she was asleep, and he called her, but she remained unconscious, and I... Wasn't fast enough, so I'll have to reach that page again. Page 6. Now something, something conceived two beautiful children. One a boy and the other a girl. Both, and then it becomes unreadable. This is part of what I figured out on my own, because I actually know the original story of Sleeping Beauty. The question is... Do you guys? And it goes straight to page three. So I'm just going to wait for it to pass and hold down A so that moves slightly faster. I think it's moving faster at least. Maybe I'm just on my mind playing tricks on me. So yeah. This actually has relevance to the lore of the game. So if you guys know how, awesome. If you don't, well, you'll figure it out as I find the other hints. There's a large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. Um, hello, I am a little girl. I should not be watching you drink alcohol. You are a horrible role model. Mary? Mary, is that you? No. Wow. Look at you. Growing up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you hadn't stopped to visit these past years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. You should go talk to Boris first. Then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door. It's the only one after mine. She's lying. That red text was your way of knowing that there was something special. The one door she's talking about is this one. But there is another door right here. Uh, right he. Is there something here? There seems to be a door hidden in the wall. You can hear a strange noise from behind the door. Almost as if someone's calling you. Oh, I can access this right away. Now, I'm, I'm going to get the original ending first. I'm just going to ignore this room for now. This room is for my second playthrough. There is a door. Open the door. Wait, what the hell? What did I just hear? I think I just heard someone say, not yet. This isn't based off me actually hearing it, but because of the playthrough I watched when the guy entered, reached the door, it said... Not yet, so I'm assuming that's what it said. I'm opening it anyway, because screw the rules. And now shit gets ominous. Let's walk past Boris. Okay, maybe I can't. Hi, door. There's a door with four holes in it. That is important. Oh, Mary, sweetheart. You're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? And it's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later. Alright, sweetie? Okay, guy who puts shivers down my spine. Spooks, creepy, spooky skeletons bring shivers down your spine. Banilda, wanna play? 
Oh, Mary, welcome back. Are you having fun in your dream? Tee <laughs> Say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I just can't figure out how to arrange these statues. Sure, I watched the puzzle, so I know how to do it. Yay, thanks so much. You see, there's actually a story behind these statues. Two goddesses fell in love with the same man, and they spent years fighting for him. One of the goddesses was the queen of the underworld. The other was the goddess of love. Please, help me show the story of the statues. Now, before I actually show the right answer, I'm going to show what my answer would have been. Also, I'm going to read these statues. The statue has an engraving on its foot. The red fruit is Death's Temptation. And now for the other statue. The statue has an engraving on its foot. The gold fruit is the prize for the winner. So yeah, those two pieces of information are actually for another pus puzzle. Anyway, let's actually do this puzzle and stuff. Alright, so the three statues we have available to us are the Confident Statue, the Lounging Stand Statue, and the Wounded Statue. I mean, Longing Statue, and the Wounded Statue. Now, if it was me, I would have put the Wounded here, the Confident in the middle. And the longing here, because love is pure, and wounded would mean you're close to death. Sadly, I am not correct. This is actually wrong. Hi, Mary. Do you need anything? Reset the statues. Okay, I've taken down the statues. All right, now I'll put the actual right ones. The only one I actually would have gotten right was the longing one. As you can see, the longing one is a woman. The wounded one was a man, and the confident one was a woman. By placing the man in the center and the woman at these sides specifically, both women are now staring at the man they love. Wow, this looks really good. You did a great job, Mary. You only really have an eye for these things. I'll be sure to ask you if I need more help. Okay, bye, Benilda. Actually, she should have more dialogue now, although it's a one-off thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Pen Gwindel. Yeah, I got your name right. Welcome back, Mary. Oh, so you managed to help Benilda? That's very nice of you. Since you're here, would you mind lending me a hand, too? Sure. Excellent. Thank you for your assistance. I had a back by an author named Williams a while ago. It was about a stuffed rabbit. Unfortunately, I can't remember what it looked like. Could you find it and tell me what color it is? That book was right here. There's a yellow book of a stuffed rabbit on the cover. The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. So the answer is yellow. Oh, Mary, did you need something? Describe the book. Oh, so you know what color the book is? What color is the book? Use all capital letters. Later on, I'm not going to type this in lowercase letters to see if um, that will change anything. I said, oh, not Q. I guess I have to be manual about it. Oh, you're right. Excellent work, Mary. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Please remind us now. Everywhere that Mary went. Hey there, kiddo. What's up? You've been hanging out with Bonilda and Gwendel? Yeah, Gwendel? Hey, what about me, huh? Alright, let's play a game. You up for it? Great. 
let's play a game of hide and seek. I'll hide somewhere in the room, and you'll have to find me. First round, you'll get 45 seconds. Just talk to me again when you're ready. I'm ready. Alright, let's get started. Try to find me before the 45 seconds are up. I know where she is in round one, round two, not round three. To find her, you're supposed to listen for her giggle. See? Giggle. Huh? Oh, there we go. Oh? Hey, you found me! Nice work! Good job, kid. Let's play another time soon, then. I mean, round soon, then. To the left, to the left, everything you want in the box to the left. Hello, Mary, my special girl. Are you having fun in your dreams? Yes, I am. That's great, sweetheart. I'm glad you like it so far. This world was made especially for you, after all. It wouldn't be right if you didn't like it. It's still early, so why don't you go play some more with your friends? Okay. To the left, to the left, everything you own, and the bunny to the left. Once again, I'm going to do the wrong, what I would have done, then I'm going to do what's correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mary, you're back. I've been looking for you, tee Do you think you could help me with the statues again? Sure. Yay, great. You see, the statues are each supposed to be holding something. One has a flower, one has a red fruit, and one has the gold fruit. The thing is, I still don't know which statue is supposed to hold which one. Please match them for me. Now, after hearing this, and I was saying the gold one was here of the goddess of love, and the red one was here of the goddess of death, naturally, I thought, give the gold to the goddess of light. Wait, did I just give the gold? I don't know what I gave. Oops, I fucked up. I don't want to give her the red fruit. Reset the statues. So naturally, I fought to give her the gold fruit. To give him the flower. And to give her the red fruit. Because, you know, goddess of death, goddess of love. And his flower would be given to the woman he chooses. Hi, Mary. Do you know anything? Reset them, because I was wrong. Now, the correct answer is, again, I was correct of this one, but I got these two mixed up. For some reason, the goddess of death holds a flower. And the man holds the red fruit. Yay, I think you got it. Great work, Mary. I'm really glad I asked you for help. Teehee. Hi, Gwendal. There are so many books to enjoy. What a time to be alive. Say, Mary, would you mind looking at some more books for me just now? They've been bothering me for quite a while, but I haven't found the time to look for them myself. Sure. Wonderful. Then the first book I'd like for you to find is a white book with stories that have morals. Could you tell me who wrote it? That book is found here. There's a white book of talking animals on the cover. Aesop's Fables. See, so yeah, for those of you who don't know, Aesop's Fables is a book full of morals. Describe the book. Ah, yes, that's correct. Good work, Mary. The other book is Green Book, by an author whose name began with an S. Could you remind me of the title? Again, I knew this one. Green Book of a Tree and a Boy in the Cover, The Giving Tree, by Shel Silverstein. I fucking love that book. I don't know why, but I have such great memories of it. Oh, Mary, did you find the title of the book already? Describe the book. 
What's the book's title? You have the letters. V. Giving. Tree. Why, that's right. Thank you, Mary. You can do it if you try, you see. I suppose that's it. I'll return to reading now. You're free to look around as much as you want, however. Yeah, I don't need to. This room is officially useless to me. Now for round two. Hey, kid. You ready for another round? Great. This time you'll have 25 seconds. Ready? Go. Oh. Hey, you found me. I just realized there are people in the background. We've got looks like a guy under a branch here. There's a chick with her mouth open. And there's some ugly thing. Shrek maybe? I don't know. You did it, kid. That's all I got for now. We can play again some other time. Okay. Alright, Boris, I played with them. Welcome back, dear. Are you done playing with your friends? Oh, but it's not time to start yet. We're still missing something. You can get the free seeds from your friends. We can go deeper to the dream together, Mary. Alright? Be patient for just a little longer. You're such a good girl, Mary. I'll be waiting. Hi, Mary. Huh? You want a seed? But, but that means you'll be leaving the stream. Aren't you happy here, Mary? Focus on happy. It'll all be over. We'll all be over. Huh? But if you're sure. Okay, how about this? I'll give you the seed if you can answer a question about the story I told you. Sure. Okay. I'll give you the seed if you can get the question right. But if you don't, you need to give me one of the flower petals. The question is, who did Adonis love? Now, again, I know the correct answer. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the answer that I thought was right. I thought it was the goddess of love. Because the gold apple represents victory. And she's holding it. But that's wrong! Looks like you'll have to give me one of your flower petals, Mary. Tee hee. But I'll give you the seed anyway, since you're such a good girl. You got a red seed. Lost a flower petal. <laughs> that's it then. Have fun in the rest of your dreams, Mary. And there's- OH MY GOD! What the hell? So, um, yeah, we made our bunny friend commit suicide, and even though I know this is going to happen, I still feel weird. I'm getting out now. <laughs> Why do I have shivers down my spine? I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Hello again, Mary. What? The seed? Are you sure you want it, Mary? Couldn't you just stay here? If you truly want it, then I suppose I can't stop you. But I will present a challenge. There's a book that I've lost. It was a brown journal written by someone named Anna. Who was it dedicated to? 
Uh, was it to Princess Elsa? <laughs> let it go, let it go. Okay, enough of that. If you can find this book, or at least guess the correct answer, I will give you the seed. If not, I must take one of your flower petals from you. Now, again, I know the answer, but I'm, still, I'm instead going to do the answer that I originally thought was right, because... I can afford to get these things wrong the first time through. Welcome back, Mary. Did you find the answer? Now, I originally thought the answer was Mary, so I'm going to type in Mary. And as you guys probably assumed, Mary's going to be wrong. No, that is incorrect. I'm sorry, Mary. I must take one of your petals in exchange, then. This will be the end of my role. Mary, if you haven't found her, the next time you enter this dream, find the angel. Which I actually did do already. I'll show you guys later. But for now, got a red seed, lost a flower petal. Oh! I'm just going to stand over here so you guys can see him better. And that weird chivalry feeling is back. So, um, yeah. He's done his chair. Because we are horrible, horrible people. Now let's kill the slut. I mean the fox. Hey there, kid. Wait, what? The seed? No way. You're kidding, right? Come on, don't do this. Come on, you're kidding, right? Do you really want that old seed? Yes. Ugh, you're serious. Fine. We'll play a round of hide and seek. If you can find me, you get the seed. If not, you have to give me one of your flower petals. You get only ten seconds this time. Now let's start. Where's the giggle? Giggle? She doesn't giggle! Holy shit! She does not giggle on the last one! Uh. Okay, I really hope I don't need all of my flower petals for one of the endings, because she does not giggle! I can't find her if she doesn't giggle! <laughs> you lost! You better pay up, just because I'm so generous. Here's your seed. You got a red seed, lost a flower petal. Have fun with the rest of your dream. So, yeah, that was a thing. Also, I just realized the music ends when you get her. Wait. Huh. I didn't notice that. Mary's face changes with each flower petal lost. I thought she only changed when you lose all your flower petals, but no, it's with each flower petal lost that she changes. Mary, sweetheart, are those the free seeds you have? You've gotten them already. Good. Wait, what the hell? Someone's calling me. Well, Mary. You've gotten them already. Good girl. But you need one more. Just give me a petal from your lily, Mary. You don't need to do anything else. I know that you deserve my seed. No. No? What do you mean, no? It's just a flower petal. You can give it to me, right? Come on. No. Don't be stubborn, Mary. I won't give you my seed if you're not a good girl. You want it, don't you? No. Fine, do what you want. Not that there's anything left to do. You've already played all the games. If you want to go deeper into your dreams, you'll give your pedal to me. Otherwise, you'll just have to wake up and lose everything. Talk to me again when you've come to your senses. I only did that to show you guys that you cannot refuse to give him your seed. Did you change your mind? Are you here to give me your petal, Mary? Wait, if I go no, 
Will some different dialogue happen? Still being stubborn? Fine. Don't talk to me until you've come to your senses. Okay, now I'm ready to change my mind. I've seen all the dialogues. Actually, wait. No, I'm not. I need to save first. Alright then. I wanted to save because I'm, the next decision I'm about to make, I don't know if it's the right one or not. Yes. Good girl. Got a red seed and lost a flower petal. You have all the seeds now, Mary. You can open the door to your dreams. I'll go first, and you can meet me there when you're ready. Just open the door, Mary, and everything will be fine. And Mary seems fucking depressed. Well, time to commit suicide. No, I'm just kidding. It, it, this doesn't lead to you committing suicide. There's a door with four holes in it. Okay, um, I know you guys probably want to listen to the music, but I don't know if it will get me a copyright strike or not. And as you guys have probably already noted, I actually have, um... Hey, what the hell? Do I have to press down? Yes, I have to hold down for her to fall through. Wait, and I can scroll back up to the credits. I can't go sideways, though. Anyway... Yeah. Why do I have to actively move for the credits? Whatever. So yeah, I would let you guys into the music, but now if I actually monetize my channel, I don't want to get copyright strikes because that will stop me from being able to monetize. So yeah, the end of a dream. Wait, are any of these things important? No, all of these are just credits. The end of a dream is the only real important dialogue here, I think. Let's fall into the whiteness. Oh, hi, Boris. Good night, Mary. Mary, this fate, are you happy with it? Now, I know no will restart, but I don't know what happens if I press yes. Do I got the ending if I press yes, or was that the ending? So let's see. Yes. I see. Then, I'll see you soon. Oh, so pressing yes will just lead you to the, um, loading screen. Well, let me show you guys how to actually continue it, because you're not supposed to press yes. So, you give him your seed. You go for, you go for the door to your doom. You go down, down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that that was the legitimate ending, and that I did. Is she sitting on a credit? She is sitting on a credit. Okay then. Also, someone in the comments, tell me what the fuck that thing is on her head. Because I have no clue what that is. So, um, yeah, let's scroll back down to the abyss. Hey there, Boris, old buddy, old pal. No, I'm not happy with this fate. I see. Then, Mary, I'll give you another chance. And that's how you actually continue to another... I don't care. Alright, so that's that. I'll see you guys in episode 2. Deuces, YouTube.